Good afternoon, everybody, and happy Easter to those who celebrate. Welcome to our Easter sunset safari. We are very excited, tail and all, to be taking you out on an Easter treasure hunt today. I've got a crown to defend, and hopefully I will win it. My name is Tess, behind the camera is Panda, and we have started our afternoon up in the open clearings in the middle of Juma, giving ourselves a good advantage for our very first treasure hunt clue. But before I get to that, thank you for joining us. It is scorchingly hot. It's going to be interesting to see how long the makeup lasts in the heat. Because welcome to Amakala. Hello everybody, welcome to Amakala Game Reserve on your Easter weekend. I hope you're all going to have a good time with us. Don't forget that Although I look like the Easter Bunny, my name is Andrew, and behind the camera I still have Morgan. There's his thumb, and I hope you're all going to have a good time with us. It's going to be a great, great experience for everybody, and we can goof around a little bit, and we can all have a jolly time together. Now I'm, I'm hopping funny because I'm scared my pants are going to rip over here. <laughs> so, how do I look? Now I'd like to know all your comments, because uh, I did put a little bit of work into my face paints over here. Got a nice little nose. I've got my whiskers over here and a few little colorful dots just to, you know, spice it up a little bit. Okay, so we've just managed to find some guinea fowl, but it's quite strange what's happening at the moment because they're sort of sitting on that branch. So they want to be off the ground and they have been giving alarm calls. I'm not quite sure what, and as you can see, some of them are even in the tree now. So I think whatever it is, is actually inside that bush over there. Is it a Okay, it was a jackal that just ran away. Okay, well spotted, Morgan. You even said jackal to begin with. I thought more, maybe a snake or something, but uh, it was a black-backed jackal. Look at them, they're not happy about it. You saw one? Good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. Welcome in the beautiful, lovely, lovely, beautiful weather. Very hot here at Planet Eco Training Safari Life. We are, we are heading towards the Jobu Dams. We have the early Lagosanta Africanas, which are under the trees at the moment, not doing much. They're packing themselves due to the weather. You can see it's really amazing. Look at the trunk that shows that the muscles of the trunk at the moment, it's very relaxed. We know that there's more than 120 units on the elephant trunk. So it's one of the things that they use it uh, in different ways. So the muscles itself that is there uh, a lot. I mean, they have to be practiced in order to do well. For elephant, everything that they do on a daily basis, how to find water, how to collect food, how to get a female, and how to get direction of water. And then you yourself have to um, find one another. They use the trunk, and always the trunk, it has to be active, have to be doing something, eating, picking, trumpeting, calling, smelling, all of that. It's such an amazing, amazing tool that the elephant have. That's reason, if in the course of a hot day like this, you may not be surprised to find an elephant relaxing their trunk and later on they keep on moving. Unfortunately, you know that this is one of the species that uh, really move 24-7 feed due to the, <coughs> the design of the elephant stomach, the single chamber where they load everything and they defecate while as they move. They're not uh, ruminant, they cannot uh, I mean, sit down or what they're doing now and try to ruminate or regurgitate and ruminate and not like that. As they move, start to feed, if the sack is full, it will deposit from the back. Quite a few of the, oh, no, oh, I thought I was getting must there, but it's not. It's just his uh, toilet time. Anyway, this has been a wonderful stop for the Medique team. Can 
see how long the grass is. He's going to reposition once he moves. He's just um, indicating to me that he's got a really good position where he was. You could do a similar thing this morning, Kurt. Same sort of angle. It's an interesting tree to choose. He's just psyching himself up. Get the kudu by the neck again. He knows he needs to. Everybody, I said this at the beginning of drive that at dusk he's going to need to get this kill up because the hyenas are going to be around shortly. He's closer to the tree now. Dragging the sack of potatoes to the car is often the hardest job. Yeah, you're excited to see him. So are we. Here we go. He's looking at the angle. Looking at the lines. Looking at maybe there's a better angle. not really looking too hard. <laughs> Very sleepy indeed. These lines have not moved since we got here. <laughs> They're deep in catnap land. Despite the sun, even. Now, it is nice and cool now, so even in the sun, it's not that hot. When we got here, it was still very hot in the sun. Just that few minutes difference. What was that sound? I almost thought it was hippos initially, but maybe it was actually a hyena or something growling. You know when hyenas greet each other and they have those very low guttural sounds that come out? Almost sounded like that. Anyway, everybody, as we crest this hill back up to the edge of our open area before camp, we do thank you for joining us on this afternoon's sunset safari. It's been wonderful having you out on the Easter Bonanza. I hope you've had a wonderful day with family or just chilling at home. Look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow morning on the Sunrise Safari. Don't forget to tune in. Tessa will be live in about 30 minutes. AMA, but until tomorrow morning, good night and goodbye.